Moneyball takes on a whole new meaning in this game we call Hit the Helmet. It doesn't matter if you're playing with baseballs or softballs. In this game, the rules are the same. Place a helmet at home plate. You can up the ante by sticking a dollar bill in one of the vents. Then line your team up at shortstop, or an appropriate distance for your player's skill level, and place a bucket of balls at the front of the line. Doesn't matter how many bounces it takes for you to hit the helmet, you just have to hit the helmet. On your call, the first player in line grabs a ball and throws it at the helmet. After one try, the next player in line is up. Whoever hits the helmet first wins the round and the money. Then move the players even further from the helmet and play again. Players will love the chance to earn their first dollar as a pro. But if they struggle to stay on target, remind them to use their non-throwing arm to point towards the helmet as they throw. You never know, it could just pay off. Pitchers refine their accuracy and control in this game we call Knockout. Line up pitchers behind the mound and give the first player a ball. You stand behind home plate as the catcher. Here's how it looks. The first player climbs the mound and throws a pitch. Nice pitch, strike! If it's a strike, the pitcher is safe and goes to the back of the line. Oh, a little outside. Now this person got to throw a strike. You're still in it until they throw a strike. If it's a ball, they're on the hot seat and the next player is up to pitch. They can knock the previous player out by throwing a strike. But if they throw a ball, the first player is safe and suddenly they're the one on the hot seat. The game continues until only one ace remains atop the mound. Good pitching is about more than throwing hard. Knockout shows players that whether they're playing Little League or in the majors, painting the corner can be just as effective as a blazing fastball. Oh boy. Fielders trap runners in a jam in this classic game called Pickle. Divide the team into groups of three. Within each group, name two fielders and one runner. Place one fielder on second base and the other on third. Give a ball to the fielder on second and place the runner 15 feet off the bag. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, Go. the fielders throw the ball back and forth, trying to trap and tag the runner. The runner can escape by getting on base safely or by forcing the fielders to throw the ball more than three times. Go get him, go get him, go get him, give it up. Give fielders one point if they get the runner back to second, but zero points if they let the runner advance to third. Last one, get him, get him, get him. Uh. Safe. Play until the fielders get five points, then rotate. Oh, great job. Trap it up, baby. Let's go. Come on. Go play second. In the actual game, runners should avoid a pickle at all costs. But if they find themselves in one, they should try to stay alive as long as possible. Oh, that gives other runners on base a chance to advance, possibly even into scoring position. Ah, safe. Fielders practice their footwork and throwing mechanics while runners round the bases. This is Beat the Ball. Send five players to the four infield positions and home plate. Then line up the rest of the group as runners behind the plate. Finally, place a ball halfway up the line between home and third base. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, the runner at home begins sprinting around the bases. At the same time, the player at third charges in to field the ball as the shortstop slides over to cover third. The fielders throw the ball around the diamond, from first to second to third to home, in a race to get the ball to the plate before the runner does. Heads up! Oh, out of order. Fielders will need to use proper footwork while transferring the ball around the diamond. Remind them to keep their feet moving so they stay in rhythm. Remind runners to ignore the fielders. The best way to beat the ball is to keep their heads down and hustle. Got a boy, good job! Ah! Batters work on hitting for contact in this classic game called Pepper. You gotta spread out a little bit so you're ready to feel the ball. Divide the team into groups of four to five players each. In each group, one player is the hitter, 
and the others are fielders spread equally apart 10 feet in front of the batter. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. On your call, one of the fielders tosses an underhanded pitch to the batter using a foam ball. They try to hit a grounder to one of their teammates who fields it and tosses it right back. If they hit a fly ball that lands in a fielder's glove, the player who caught it rotates in for the next at-bat. The guy who caught it, he's up, he's hitting. If the batter swings and misses or hits a home run over everyone's heads, they're out and swap roles with a fielder. Play short rounds about two minutes long. Whoever lasts the longest at the plate wins. Remind players that this game is about hitting for contact, not power. After all, not every at-bat calls for a grand slam. Uh oh, home run, next hitter. Encourage hitters to choke up for more bat control. In the actual game, that could be the difference between fouling off a tough pitch and whiffing at it. One, two, three. My God! Batting practice reaches a fever pitch in this game we call Think Fast. Line up your team in foul territory. The first player steps up to the plate with a bat. You set up four feet to the side of home plate with a bucket of two different colored plastic balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Soft toss two different colored balls at the same time towards the player. While they're in the air, call out one of the colors. White. The batter will already be in motion and must adjust to hit the correct nice. one. They get a point for every nice. successful hit. After five swings, they move to the back of the line. Whoever has the most points once everyone's gotten a turn wins the round. Pitch recognition is vital when it comes to success at the plate. Yellow. <laughs> Knowing what pitches not to swing at is just as important. Think Fast helps prepare players to make split decisions on game day. White. Nice. There's no telling where fly balls might land in this game we call the box. Use four cones to create a large rectangle and place a fifth one in the middle. You stand at the edge of the space with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing with softballs or baseballs, this game is the same. Here's how it looks. The first player in line starts at the center cone facing you. Throw a shallow pop-up to one of the four corners. The fielder runs to catch it, using the proper footwork and tracking angle. Once they field it, players must throw the ball back to you and track down your next pop-up. Each fielder gets three tries before the next player is up. Give players a point for every ball they catch. Then, challenge them to beat their score in the next round. Tracking down fly balls is one of the keys to success in the outfield. Players should be ready to explode in any direction once the ball comes off the bat. Remind fielders to turn their belt buckle towards the ball and run to where they expect it to land. There you go, great job! Double the T's means double the fun in this game we call Inside Outside. Line your hitters up in foul territory and place two T's at home. One in front of the inside of the plate, raised to the hitter's hip. Another on the outside corner of the plate, raised to the hitter's thigh. You stand off to the side with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. On your call, the hitter swings at the ball on the inside tee, aiming to pull it between second and third base. Inside! There you go, better. After six tries, they swing at the ball on the outside tee trying to send it between first and second base. Outside. Very nice. Give players a point every time they send the ball on target. Then challenge them to improve their directional hitting in the next round. Pull your hands inside. I'm staying there. Ugh, I'm through that ball. Remind players that even though the tees are in two different areas of the strike zone, the goal for both is the same. To stay inside the ball and hit a line drive without pulling it too far in either direction. Just like that. Players send frozen ropes right up the middle in this game we call Tunnel Ball. Make two lines of five cones each to create a five-foot-long tunnel that's wider on one end than the other. Divide your team into two groups, hitters and fielders. The hitters line up by the narrow end of the tunnel as the fielders spread out inside it. You set up by the hitters with a bucket of practice balls. Whether you're coaching softball or baseball, this game is the same. Here's how it looks. 
you soft toss balls to the first hitter in line. If they hit the ball and it lands inside the tunnel without being fielded cleanly, it's a run. If the fielders catch a fly ball, cleanly field a grounder, or the ball lands outside the cones, it's an out. Oh, out. After three outs, the hitters and fielders switch sides. This team in the outfield, that team up. Whichever team has the most runs after three innings wins the game. Players will love any chance to compete. But there's an important hitting fundamental buried in all the fun. Always think about driving the ball straight up the middle of the field. That's the best way for batters to make contact with any type of pitch that might come their way in the actual game. Good job! Yay! It's the perfect way to cool off after a hot day. This is Water Balloon Derby. Line hitters up in foul territory. You kneel to the side of home plate with a bucket of water balloons. One player at a time steps up to the plate and gets in their batting stance. Here's how it looks. Soft toss a balloon into the strike zone and prepare to get wet. The hitter takes a swing at the balloon aiming for a watery blast. Play until everyone has had a turn to get as soaked as possible. Some players may get too excited and swing wildly at the balloon. Who can blame them? Remind them that the best way to get a big explosion is with good balance and a level swing. Now someone get them a towel. 